Hey everyone, and welcome to the Art of Online Marketing live show. Today we're gonna to be talking about making your social media content go further. So welcome, and for those of you who might not know me, my name is Denise Allison. I am the owner of Stratigro, and I help you grow with social media and live video. So let me know in the comments who you are and where you are watching from today it's the last week of august which generally means the last week of summer so let me know if you're watching from your cottage or from a vacation or maybe you're you're still in your regular office let me know in the comments below so one challenge that pretty much every single entrepreneur faces is lack of time However, um, we still have so many things that we need to get done. And, and if we have opportunities to free up some time, why not do that? So when you own an online business or when you own a business that uh, generally markets itself on online and on social media, a lot of your time is spent uh, creating content for your audience. So today I wanna to talk about how to how to make that content go further so you, have for, you can free up time to do other things. So today's video is sponsored by my new resource, Five Live Video Secrets to Building an Engaged Community. So I will post the link in the comments for how to get that if you want to learn more about using live video to grow your business. And another announcement I have is that next week on, on September, September 6th, I'll be doing a half day workshop in Yarmouth. So that's for any business owners who want to improve their social media and learn how to use social media to attract the right customers to their business in an effective way. So participants will leave with a clear picture of what a successful social media strategy looks like, the pros and cons of the most popular platforms and how they apply to their business, and, and some next steps to attracting some, some customers to their business with social media. So again, I'll put the link below. That is on September 6th in Yarmouth at the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. All right, so today's topic, how to make your social media content go further. So the problem that most entrepreneurs run into um, when, when they're an online business or business who markets themselves online is they, they take the step and they understand that they need to create content to market their business. But then they spend way too much time creating that content. So they're creating weekly blog posts, uh, regular lead magnets, um, social media posts, and on and on and on. But they're not spending enough time making sure that that content is reaching their, their target market or their ideal customers. And that, of course, is the entire point of creating the content in the first place. So we spend way too much time coming up with the content and all of our energy is poured into creating it into the back end, but we're not putting enough time and energy into making sure the implementation goes smoothly or that that content is reaching the, the end user that, that's intended. So today I wanna to share with you how to make that content go further. Now, when it comes to creating content, the biggest piece of all of this is creating your anchor content. So. Anchor content is basically a longer, bigger piece of content that you are going to release on a regular basis. So in most cases, that's weekly, that's what I do, and it's absolutely what I recommend. So this anchor content is going to, um, it's going to educate your audience and, and it's gonna give them something that they can apply to their own business to see some kind of results. And it's also going to position you as the expert in, in what it is that that you are doing. So the piece of content is helping them move forward in the challenge that they face um, while positioning you as the expert in, in that um, topic. So the format um, of this is, is you have a few options. So you can do a blog post, um, a podcast, or my favorite, live video. And live video is my favorite for a couple of reasons. 
first of all, it really helps you um, get in front of more people because if you are doing something like a blog or a podcast, you need to send your audience off of social media and, and get them to go somewhere else to be able to see or listen to your content. If you're doing live video, they get to stay in the platform that you are in. Live video also lets you connect on a deeper level because they are seeing your face, they're seeing your mannerisms, like you see my hands going everywhere, hearing your tone, your body language, and all of that. So I just find it to be, be a much more powerful format than, than some of the most popular other types of format. So every week I share with you a live video on the topic of social media and how to attract more customers with social media and live video. And then of course, every week has a different topic. Um, and, and that's all, all, all determined in advance. Um, so like I said, the, the anchor content is the big piece of the puzzle that you need to sort out. So, what now? Once you've determined what, the, what your anchor content is and how you are going to serve your audience on a weekly basis, you need to decide what happens next because it's not really realistic to think that you can build your entire social media strategy on one piece of content per week. So you need to build out more. So what you need to do is you need to take the theme of your anchor content and you want to chunk it into smaller pieces that you can, let's say, repurpose and, and use elsewhere on social media. So, okay, sorry, I'm looking at notes and the, the way that I wrote them made no sense. So let's say you do your live video or you do if you decide to do a blog or a podcast, in that piece of content, there are going to be some major themes that are recurring and you're gonna wanna break those into smaller pieces of content. So if in your live video, you defined a, an important element in your industry or in your field, that can be chunked down, you can take that piece and you can turn it into a static standalone social media post. Maybe in that same live video, you share some really important facts or statistics about uh, a really important topic in your industry. Um, and it's all related to the types of topics that you tend to discuss. So again, you can take that piece and you can turn it into a standalone static piece of social media content that you can then share on social media, whether it's Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere um, as long as you break it down into the right size and and create the elements that go along with it so the point of this exercise is to one streamline what you're doing on social media so that in one week you're not talking about this this and this but you're talking about this one big thing and then in your post you're talking about smaller pieces of it and so you the other thing is you don't need to start from zero with every single post. You've already created the content and now you can take pieces of it to tease it out, to get in front of your audience and to make sure that you have one cohesive message that's happening in your business. So by repurposing pieces of that larger piece of content, you can make that go further. You can make sure that it's reaching the people that it's intended to reach and you're not spending even more time creating content. Now, before you say, but Denise, if I already share that content on social media or in my live video or in my blog or wherever, and I share it again, won't I be annoying my audience? And the answer is no, no, you will not. First of all, because of the algorithm, not everyone is seeing your posts. So I've shared this number before, but on average, about two to 6% of your followers are actually seeing the posts that you put out there. So it's not even going to show up in the feed of a lot of the people who are already following you. So they might, one, not have seen it in the first place. Second is, did they even consume that content? So even though it's showing up in their feed, it doesn't mean that they're taking the opportunity to click on the blog link or the podcast link, or if it's a live video, to watch the live video. So again, 
That's one of the reasons why I prefer live video because it plays and you don't need to click and go elsewhere, but that still doesn't guarantee that they are necessarily watching that live video. They might be at work, they might be in a meeting, they might be doing something that it's just not really realistic for them to be able to watch your live video or other piece of content at that moment in time. And the third thing you need to know is People are not computers. So even if you have an audience who loves absolutely everything that you're doing and you have like a hundred percent reach in your, through the algorithm, which I'm pretty sure is not possible, but even if you did, and even if a hundred percent of those people watch your video or consume your piece of content, it still doesn't necessarily mean that they have absorbed all of the information that you have shared. So people aren't likely to remember all the details that you shared. And so you want to remind them of the important parts that you shared throughout your live video so that you so that it can like get in their brain better so that they can really understand. And sometimes it's that they just don't remember. Sometimes um, you just need to remind them because they didn't really grasp the entire thing. So um, by doing that, you're giving them even more value by sharing the, um, the bigger pieces of content to serve as a little reminder and helping them consume it in a different way. So that is, that is the way that you can take your content and you can make it go further without having to create more content. So by taking one big piece of content and chunking it into smaller pieces of content. So making that larger piece of content go further so that you can spend more time making sure that your audience is seeing the content that you're creating and the expertise you have and less time reinventing the wheel and coming up with brand new content every single time. Okay. So hope that is helpful for you. And don't forget to grab my free lead magnet. And that is called um, five live video secrets to building an engaged community. So I'll put the link below once we are done being live and you'll be able to grab that there. And if you are local, don't forget to check out my in-person half day workshop on September 6th. And I will see you all again next week for another episode of The Art of Online Marketing. All right, everyone, have a great week and a great last week of summer.